What's up, y'all? It's your boy Cam on stage, and I'm just in agony and grief. I heard that Red Lobster was closing, and it's just like, how could it be? Uh, somebody took my Cheddar Bay biscuits from me. It's so sad, man, because we. <laughs> We grew up uh, loving Red Lobster, man. When you're poor, Red Lobster is like, that's fine dining. You understand me? You go to fine dining when you go to Red Lobster. I remember I took Melissa to homecoming, and I let her get the Admiral's Feast, and I'm like, we out here. We out. Go and get you a little Admiral's Feast. That thing was $17.99, I promise you. I thought I spent a world's wide paycheck for six months worth of salary on that. You understand? When you grow up in the church, Red Lobster is it, man. Everybody goes to Red Lobster after church. I probably went to Red Lobster 85% of the time I went was probably after church. You understand? Like, well, for poor kids, that's it. That's the creme de la creme. Hood rats everywhere will have a baby by you if you take them to Red Lobster. Oh, girl, he let me go to Red Lobsters. You know, um, black people love to add a Phantom, F, a Phantom S to where I went to Red Lobsters, I got me an Admiral's Feast, I had a whole basket of Cheddar Bay Biscuits, and I had three babies by him because he spent $47 on me. I had a shrimp feast at Red Lobsters. It's funny, I'm in Washington, there were some um, dudes who robbed a bank and robbed like three banks in the same day. And you know where they were caught spending bank earned money? Do you know where? It was at Red Lobster. So poor people everywhere were sad. Now mind you, I haven't been to Red Lobster in I don't know how many years, but I was still like, man, it, it, I could see why <laughs> there was fear of them losing their business because everybody wasn't concerned about the lobster, shrimp, pasta, none of that. All people cared about was Cheddar Bay Biscuits. But alas, it is not closing. I did a little research and it's not closing. What happened is the parent company um, Darden Restaurants, which also owns Olive Garden, Longhorn Steakhouse, Bahama Breeze, Capitol Grill, and Season 52, was separating Red Lobster from that parent company and spinning it off to its own company because sales have been declining. They lost like $41 million in 2013. They had a 37% drop in earnings. Decline in sales, 5.2%, all kinds of declines, restaurant traffic and all that. So that's what made people think that they're closing, but they will still be open and hood rats everywhere breathe a collective sigh of relief. Now, mind you, you don't have to be a hood rat to like Red Lobster. I'm just saying a lot of people who ain't got a lot of money think Red Lobster is the top of fine dining. And I was one of them. You understand me? That was the best restaurant I could have think to go to. Like when I wanted to take somebody to a nice restaurant, I thought Red Lobster because growing up, that was it. That was the top. Now, I know there are way more expensive restaurants in the world, especially, um, man, I'm trying to think of the most money I spent on food for my wife. When we were in uh, our honeymoon, actually, when we first got married, we went to Ruth Chris Steakhouse. And I was like, that was like, whoo. But I looked at the menu, it was like $37. And I was like, okay, I can do that. And that was just for a chicken breast. That wasn't a side. And then each side was like 15 bucks. We literally walked out, I mean, Melissa, when the waiter went to get our waters, we walked out the back door because if we would have ate at Ruth Chris Steakhouse, Ruth's Chris, that's a stupid name. And then we wouldn't have had any money to eat for the rest of the time. So we walked out literally and walked down the street to a burger place and spent $11.16. And we lived to eat another day. Now, since then we spent like, Shoot, I took her to our anniversary. It was like almost $300. That's the most I ever spent. I almost threw up just thinking about it. But anyway, you guys can relax. Red Lobster is open. You should go and get some Cheddar Bay biscuits so they can keep their doors open. Your boy Kev on stage. Today marks the day. You can now go to the store and get Faith Wear, Dream Changer stuff. 20% off everything. So go on and get you something. Maybe you could be the fan of the day. Link in the description. See you tomorrow. Hey, everybody, it's Kev on stage. Go and subscribe to my YouTube page. And don't you be bitter. Just follow me on Twitter. What's up, everybody? It's Kev on stage. Go and subscribe to my YouTube page. And don't you be bitter. Just follow me on